In this video, we are going to see how to use two tools that are fill hole and bridge to fill holes in your mesh and to bridge each surface together. So let's see how we can do it and what are all you have to use to follow this method and get your mesh properly done. So let's see how we can do it. So I do have a mesh here which has a hole and while modeling you might have to see that there will be holes and you have to you know create holes to make some things like an extrusion or something so how do you fill that hole because uh, anything that has holes it will deform too much as you can see here so we don't need to have holes here so instead this will do a lot of stretching and such so to fill this hole we are going to go to the edge mode by right clicking and go to the edge mode here so now we can like select the entire edges together and you have to go for shift right click and you can see there's a fill hole option you can get to the fill hole option and fill it so after you fill it it makes a face that is not connected and this will in turn won't work well on curved surfaces because this is an end gun so to fix this i'm gonna get to the face and we can easily change this by using a method which is i already posted a video about it so you can check it out so i'm gonna go to the mesh and we're going to triangulate this and quadrangulate that so i can see uh it actually done a little bit of job so we can then catch the rest of it using a multi-cut tool and after that you can like delete the unnecessary edges that you don't need and you can have a very good polygon so this is how you can use the uh, fill hole tool now we can see how we can use the bridge so for this bridge you can see that uh, this is a plane and it has uh, two surfaces here so actually it is one mesh here so when it has a you know a ridge along it so to bridge these uh, surfaces together we're gonna use the bridge tool so I'm gonna select from here to there and from here to there on the other side once you select the two of the sides you can like shift right click and bridge this will bridge the entire surface together and the topology will be very fine so this is how you can use the bridge tool and you can see that uh, let me undo a few times and uh, you can see what the other options are under bridge so here we have a linear path to give a linear thing which is for planes and such you can also change to a smooth path and you can uh, bridge it along a curve too so you can also set the divisions but these are the default options which are used regularly so you need to change much until you can change the smoothing angle for a soft edge or a hardened edge so that depends upon your mesh so this is how we can use the bridge tool and fill tool so hope you like this video give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and i will see you in another video thank you